Well, good morning. It's hard to believe that uh, another week is already finishing up and uh, we're in February now and uh, the year is already starting to scream by pretty quickly. And I have something for you this morning I think that's going to help you um, lend credibility, if you will, to your own faith. Because faith isn't when we ask. Faith is actually when we walk away believing we've received and then waiting for the Lord to give us what he feels is best. Prayer is not demands. Prayer is humble requests. Uh, in faith, and only by faith will a person's request be truly answered anyway. And so listen to what happens in this particular uh, interaction between Jesus and a man of great influence and power and uh, what Jesus has to say about this man. It's in chapter number 8 of Matthew. Verse number 5 is where we'll start. It says, And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth uh, at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. And the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak, thou, uh, uh, the, speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. And so he's really just saying, Jesus, I know who you are. I can tell who you are. You are one of universe-wide authority. I can tell that you are someone that's beyond any authority that I've ever met. And uh, people of authority... They just speak commands, and they are so. Uh, me in my limited role, you in your uh, much larger role have great authority. And I'm not even worthy for you to come into my home. All you have to do is say it, and it's, and it's done. So in verse number 10, look what happens. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and saith, said unto, unto them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in all or in Israel. Think about this. <clears throat> He's basically saying, this man has the greatest faith I've encountered so far. Uh, in my travels and in my teaching ministry, this man has great faith. And uh, he goes on, he says, and, and I said, I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall uh, sit uh, uh, and, and sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. Uh, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. He's pronouncing a little bit of a judgment about the lack of faith within his own people. He's saying people are going to come from everywhere else with great faith, but for you, uh, you don't have it. And in verse number 13, and he said unto the centurion, go thy way. And as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in that self same hour. Now think about this. God says, I've got this. And then he says, at the measure of your faith, it will be answered for you. And the centurion walks away, going home, expecting the servant to be healed. Now think about that. How often do you walk away from your time of prayer and honestly expect that anything is going to happen in the way that you, you ask it to be done? And what, at what level of faith are you really at? The, determina the determining factor is, are you able to walk away from the request as if you know God has it? And so this centurion comes to Jesus and says, Jesus, I need a, I need a favor. I need, a, I need some help. Um, and Jesus says, okay, let's go. And he says, no, uh, you say the word and I know it's done. You don't even have to make the effort to come over. I don't need you to raise a hand or say a word at my house. You can do this from here. And Jesus rewards his faith with an answer. Let's be people of faith that put things before the Lord, expecting that he is going to answer. Not demanding, but believing 
There's a huge difference between those two things. Lay your request before the Lord and walk away believing that he has it under control, whether it happens today or tomorrow or the next day. Walk with God today and you'll enjoy a great day.